Hi everyone, I'm back today with message number three from the Loving Messages from Source. So number three says, the only path to awakening to your higher self is by doing your inner shadow work. Now there's a lot here. First of all, let's talk about the higher self. For those of you who have never heard the term, you've heard me talk in my last two videos about the fact that we all have a part of us that is spiritual in nature. It is not incarnating on this planet. It is not flesh and blood. That part remains in another dimension in a spirit form. That is the higher self. The higher self is at all times connected to source, which for us is a little bit difficult because we're in a 3D reality and it's much harder for us to connect to spiritual beings while we're here. But connecting to your higher self actually allows a deeper connection with source. So that's one of the reasons we want to connect to the higher self because of the guidance that we are able to receive that way. Now, let's go on to talk a little bit about inner shadow work. So first of all, what is the shadow? The shadow is that part of us that we don't like. The part of us that we are not proud of, the part of us that we wish didn't exist. So things like anger or hatred or jealousy or greed or possessiveness, all sorts of emotions like this, parts of us that we don't like. So we suppress them. So what happens when we suppress? So let me give you an example. Let's say that you're a little girl and you get very angry. And you have these feelings of anger that surface and then you act out on them. Now what if your mother says to you, What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? We don't act like that. You don't act like that. That's bad. So in that moment, that little girl starts to believe that her emotion of anger is wrong and bad and she will not be loved if she acts out on her anger. So she immediately suppresses it and it goes into the unconscious. So every time she gets angry, she suppresses and it goes into the unconscious because little girls are made from sugar and spice and everything nice and it's not really acceptable for them to be angry. At least that's how it was throughout our history. Things are changing a little bit now, but for a very long time, many women were given that message. So what ends up happening is that these emotions don't disappear. The more we suppress them, the stronger they become, and then they hijack us, and they start to take over in the most unexpected times. So instead of behaving assertively for what we want, we become passive aggressive. So we have periods of time where we just take and take and absorb and don't react, and then we explode, and then people are like, what are you, crazy? So this is why suppressing things and throwing them into the unconscious creates a much bigger problem as opposed to having dealt with it in an appropriate manner. Now most parents unfortunately are not evolved enough to know how to deal with their children's emotions which of course children have no control over. They don't know that when these emotions come out they need to sit down and talk to them about how they're feeling and how to begin to work with these emotions which do not have to be suppressed to that extent but that they need to be manifested in gentler ways. So the shadow work that we do is dealing with all those things that we have suppressed throughout our lives. And many times there are many, many, many aspects of ourselves that we have suppressed. The reason we need to look into them and integrate them into ourselves is that how we evolve. We evolved from the place that we're at where we're victims of our emotions, we are victims of our circumstances, to a place of empowerment where we understand what is happening within us, we see, we're aware, we're very self-aware, and when something triggers us, we say, oh, there comes this thing again, here comes my anger again. Let me sit down and do some work on that. This is a lifetime thing, and sometimes it takes help. You can't do it all yourself. It's very good to have a therapist or a life mentor or a coach. This is some of the work that I do with my clients just to get them from that place where everything is hidden in the shadow so that it comes out into the light and it's integrated within us. And then we become more centered, more calm, and able to access our higher self. 
There is much more to be said on these subjects, and I will be recording more videos in the future regarding these vast, this vast information. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do come back for number four. Thank you.